Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What is up with you, Capricorn? Oh, look at that. Okay, that was interesting. So what's the energy with you, Capricorn? What do you got going on today? Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Signing Contracts, Three of Wands, The Tower Vibes, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups, over top of all that is Judgment Awakening. Ooh. You've been pulling such good energy here. Some of you, this is definitely, I feel like a singular journey with you. You're going to choose what's going to make you happy. This is definitely going to be specifically what makes you happy. And there's probably going to be others that aren't going to be too happy about this decision that you make. Uh, work, love, life when it comes to you, Capricorn. Uh, you are definitely attracting a lot of attention. This is that, uh, it's almost like a benchmarking type energy here. That just reads like Page of Swords to me. Uh, it's very interesting with you, Capricorn. Three of Pentacles there with the Three of Wands. They're so much sort of dependent on you. But here you are choosing your own happiness. Whatever the fuck that is for you. Whatever that means for you. Queen of Swords means you're very uh, discerning in your decision making as well. Those of you that feel like you have to sort of sneak away from something to find your happiness. So what the fuck is even that about? So, damn. This could be when it comes to a relationship or partnership. This could be when it comes to a business proposition. Those of you... This is kind of like keeping your options open, but... Hopefully Capricorn, not in a negative sort of way. This is making smart moves. But you are sort of having to do your own thing. So I don't feel like you really have a whole lot of sort of confidant type uh, people around you or people that you're really going to share that with. Some of you know you're better off because some choices you make are definitely not going to be appreciated by everyone in your life. I noticed the Pisces card there. So what do you got going on here, Cappies? Some of you getting singles, some of you getting out of contracts, some of you signing new contracts, new opportunities coming in with you. Double Ace of Wands here with the Ace of Pentacles. I don't dance now. I make money moves. So I don't feel like you're going to be anybody's puppet anymore. That's what makes the difference with you. That's why you attract this attention. But as much of the attention that you attract, it's kind of to see what the fuck it is that you're doing. So I feel like you're far more of a leader. You're far more of a doer. And you've got all these sort of uh, slag energies around you that just sort of watch what you do. So you're probably emulated a lot. People try to uh, do what you do. People try to emulate what you do. But you're always, you're always able to make the decisions that actually make you happy. And that's what makes the difference when it comes to you. There's not, I don't think you're, you really overanalyze anything. Some of you just focus on this sort of happiness. Definitely a free-flowing vibe when it comes to you. So uh, you might choose to stay single for a while. Or you might be longer when it comes to dating before you're ready to sort of uh, settle down. Mm. Over top of the uh, three of wands, yeah, is this six of cups. A lot of uh, X energy around you. A lot of people definitely pay attention to what you do because you make really smart moves and really smart decisions here. Over the tower, you got the six of wands. This is that ever the optimist. This is someone that's able to sort of move through. Capricorn, a lot of the choices that you make, a lot of people might consider that a tower moment. But actually for you, it's kind of a, it's almost like a rebranding. It's almost like looking at things from a different perspective. You're able to pull your energy back when you need to and really look at what it is that you do want. You're far more focused on long-term than what you are short-term. I feel like you attract a lot of sort of short-term attention. So there's a lot of people that sort of want to come in, but they don't really plan on staying long or you don't really plan on keeping them sort of in your energy for long. I don't feel like that's a negative vibe. So, I mean, if you date, 
you probably tell someone, I'm not interested in settling down. That's not what I want. That's not what I'm focused on. There's accomplishments that I'm working on. So you're ultimately going to choose your happiness in the end. And that makes a lot of people not so happy. It's good everyone wants to be in your energy. But at the same time, you're always going to stay focused on your Nine of Cups. And I think that's what's going to interest you when it comes to your next relationship or partnership. I feel like you've been there, done that, and you realize that shit don't work. I like this sort of marker vibes with you. So you might uh, benchmark or use like metrics when it comes to your accomplishments, when it comes to your goals. You're far more forward thinking, which uh, for a lot of you, the sort of short term stagnant relationships and partnerships don't quite understand that with you. And ultimately, you're going to choose what makes you happy above all else. I like the goldfish energy with you. It's a very beautiful vibe. You're not really going to be sort of settled down. Your perfect relationship or partnership allows that sort of freedom of movement. Not in a negative way. This isn't like uh, doing things in a negative way. This is like making the choices that are good for you, finding partners and working through that energy. Over the Queen of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles. You're definitely very mindful. This is a like a, a really good... Watching your investments, really watching your investments grow, taking the time that you need. You're far more analytical and you're far more likely to wait before you go into any sort of situation until you know that it's actually the right sort of time for you. So I feel like your timing is definitely on point. Uh, you're more of a, a leader. You're more of a, a person that sort of uh, sets the standards. And that's why you get all this sort of temporary energy around you. Those of you, if you in a, in a hiring position, those of you at work, you probably travel around a lot. So you have a lot of sort of temporary vibes when it comes to you. But everyone's wanting your attention. Over the Nine of Cups here, you got the Eight of Wands. So good news coming in for you because you are focused on what makes you happy. But someone isn't happy that you're happy. <laughs> so, damn, there's a lot of sort of codependent energy on you. I feel like you make it work. Without you, it doesn't work. There's the Empress energy. Ah, that wants to go over the Nine of Cups. There's the Wheel of Fortune. So some of you, karmic relationships or partnerships. Those of you that's moving out of those stuck, stagnant karmic relationships or partnerships. Those of you that's really paying attention to your relationships or partnerships. Those of you that understand how that sort of cycle works. If you're here in tarot land, you understand all that sort of start-stop energy, break-up to make-up type vibes. Uh, what's going to keep you sort of stuck or stagnant or what's going to allow you to move forward. Uh, there's a silence to what you do because you know you got this sort of cross-watcher energy. You're probably not on all your socials. Uh, you probably are hard to read. And you're not really putting a whole lot out there for people to know what the fuck it is you do got going on. You sort of bring this tower by the decisions that you make. But there's a lot of people that aren't happy with the decisions that you do make. Because you're ultimately going to prove uh, or choose what makes you happy. Instead of focusing on someone else's happiness. This is like be mindful of fake emperor or empress energies. Work love life vibes as well. You've had so many stuck sort of stagnant six of cups relationships or partnerships. I don't feel like you're ever single for long. Because there's always like someone that's always sort of there. There's not a whole lot of coincidence when it comes to your relationships or partnerships. I think a lot of you are sort of wising up to that. So the choices that you make now are going to be different. You're definitely going to pull focus back on you before you really think about someone else. Uh, this isn't like abandonment type vibes with you, but you're definitely going to be mindful of your family planning. You're definitely going to be mindful of how much sort of attention you give to a relationship or partnership. With the Queen of Swords there and the Queen of Pentacles, you have a time frame for yourself. And if, if a relationship or partnership doesn't sort of fit that timeline or someone tries to come in and uh, speed up the timeline when it comes to you, yeah, that shit ain't going to work. Definitely, it's a fertile energy. So do be mindful of your family planning, right? Over top of all that, there you are, Capricorn. Ooh, Cappies. That's what I love about your energy. Those of you choosing your own happiness... This could come across to some people as being a little sort of uh, self-centered. But if you're unattached and you're just like dating and there's no real commitments that you have to anybody, 
you're definitely going to be making choices that are good for you. I don't think you're going to stay in a relationship or partnership if you feel like you're stuck or you feel like someone is way too needy or way too codependent upon you. Work, love, life vibes with this Capricorn because that is not what you're interested in. Damn Cappies. King of Pentacles, the Hierophant. There's something that you're working for. There's a goal or accomplishment that you're looking to achieve. And you're definitely very mindful of your connections. You're not going to be messy either. So a lot of you Capricorns, uh, if you mix your romantic life and your work life, some of you are learning to compartmentalize now. Some of you have been compartmentalizing for a while. That's what makes the difference. I don't feel like you're a messy energy because anything that can sort of keep you stuck or stagnant, that's not going to be what you choose. So with work, as in your romantic relationships or partnerships, you like that idea of like a free-flowing. You're not really into commitment. Uh, those of you, a lot of short-term contracts. Those of you, you just kind of... Uh, uh, take it as it comes instead of really investing in anything that isn't specifically designed for you. So if someone wants you to sign a lease, uh, unless it's your name on it alone, you're not going to do that. Yeah. There's a lot of missed opportunities. A lot of you, because you are definitely going to be focused on chasing your dreams and getting your accomplishments or goals in. So a lot of you, it's like the relationships or partnerships that just keep you stuck. Six of Cups can be sort of past energy when it comes to you. you got the Five of Cups here with the Nine of Cups. Someone sees you as their wish fulfillment, but your idea of wish fulfillment is completely different. So these are kind of superficial uh, relationships or partnerships, or there really wasn't a whole lot of uh, communication. For some of you, it's about the Ten of Pentacles. Those of you Capricorns who are a really good date, you buy the best tickets, you go to the best restaurants, uh, you probably have a reputation for that. Word gets around, but you're far more focused on you. You definitely turn down a lot of offers and opportunities, uh, Capricorn. Or some of you are learning to turn down uh, opportunities right now because you are manifesting what is good for you. This sixth energy, I know you come out of something where you've had to really look at things and not let your emotions overwhelm you. You're probably coming across as a, a, a kind of stubborn you may be coming across for some people as being a little cold because you're not like overly emotional. If someone's trying to make you feel something because you chose you, I don't really think that's going to work. Especially if there really was no sort of uh, uh, commitment involved. If you were just casually dating, you were just casually dating. Uh, some of you, even when it comes to your work opportunities, uh, you probably like to keep your options open when it comes to that too. You're wanting to grow, so you're more focused on uh, advancement when it comes to you. Uh, far more your dreams and goals. Is it romance for you? Maybe. For some of you, it's like tangible goals and opportunities. Especially those of you coming out of relationships or partnerships. Uh, if you're a newly single, there are probably a lot of people thinking they were going to be the next in line with you. And then you just sort of went off and did your own thing. Some of you are creating new businesses, new companies. You're looking at better opportunities. Some of you could definitely be uh, signing leases, maybe to start your own business, get your own place. You're not interested in that saccharine kind of uh, codependency. You're always going to choose what's best for you. And that's really what makes the difference. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, look at look at the songs you got here. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. So you're definitely getting a lot of options and opportunities with that. If it's sex, it's just sex. So if there's any sort of manipulation when it comes to that, yeah, that shit ain't going to work for you. Uh, that's, that's not going to be like, uh, you're definitely mindful of your family planning and you're definitely mindful of the energies that you do sort of, uh, uh, attract to you when it comes to that. There will be an answer. Let it be. You're kind of in this mode right now. Whatever you're thinking of, whatever it is your accomplishment is, whatever it is that you're working for, 
that's what you're focused on. And you know what? You don't got to let every person know what the fuck it is you're doing. Uh, and everyone wants to know what the hell it is you're doing because you're definitely set the standard. A lot of you raise the standards with what you do because you are different and you are more forward thinking. For a lot of you, that's what makes the difference. You will turn down a quick bit of pleasure because you understand the sort of uh, energy around that. Especially those of you that are very mindful of your family planning. Only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. Oh, Lord Capricorn. <sighs> Someone out there is probably thinking they can make you fall in love with them. So... That is probably the one thing that isn't going to work with you, especially if you're focused on this Nine of Cups, whatever that Nine of Cups is for you. If this is going back to school, if this is starting your own company, some of you, if this is you get a job uh, upgrade, uh, you're going to focus on that instead of some of you like the superficials. And if someone thinks that just because they get you in the sack means you're going to fall in love with them. Yeah, I think you're smart enough to figure out that, too. So you're making some really smart choices. You're making some very interesting choices. But the fact that you're not really sort of expressing it or letting everybody know what the hell you got going on is what really makes the difference. Because you, you know you got good vibes coming in. So you're not really going to stay stuck or stagnant in some shit relationship or partnership just to make someone else happy. Work, love, life vibes on that. Ooh. So you attract a lot of sort of karmic vibes, but you're aware of that moving forward. This is more your energy with that three of wands. So you're benchmarking your own accomplishments. You're benchmarking your own goals. The right relationships or partnerships will show up in the right time. Some of you, it's going to be more healing relationships or partnerships. It's going to be focused on something that's far more interesting when it comes to you. This would be more of a creative type vibe. This would be more of a... Uh, kind of a sounding board energy when it comes to you. And it's going to be someone that matches your vibe as well. So they're going to be just as accomplished as you. They're going to have just as many sort of short-term goals, long-term goals. Uh, they're not going to be all quick to turn it into something romantic because they're not going to put that messiness on it. Uh, and they're definitely not interested in sort of uh, getting attached or staying attached. That's what makes the difference. You get a lot of sort of uh, basic sort of offers. You get a lot of this sort of page energy. So uh, it's not lack of opportunities with you. It's very discerning. This is as much like business offers as it is like meetings, meetups, dates. Uh, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of coincidental energy when it comes to you. Most people sort of plan how they're going to meet you. Uh, you're hard to read because a lot of you, you're not on your socials. So someone can't look at your socials and figure out everything about you. Uh, you're not an easy book. That's how you keep your sanity. A lot of you, that's how you sort of uh, keep that sort of purity when it comes to you. Uh, you're probably not on dating sites. If you were before, you kind of understood how that energy worked. You're more interested in beautiful opportunities. Some of you not even romantic based right now. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. The lover's vibe and there's the world. Those of you that feel like you're ahead of the collective when it comes to the decisions that you're making with your relationships or partnerships. Realizing where you're going to sort of find that. I feel like you're going to be more one-on-one -on -one when it comes to your relationships or partnerships, Capricorn. Because that way you avoid this. If someone's watching you or trying to watch you, Capricorn, they have no idea what the fuck you got going on. I feel like you have more... I feel like you're more of a sort of conquest, Capricorn, than anything else. So... You're being very mindful when it comes to your relationships or partnerships. You're definitely being very mindful of any sort of uh, uh, passionate connections or how you date. 
there's a lot of clarity when it comes to you. So if you're like, okay, I'm going on a date just because, but I'm not really ready to settle down. I'm not interested in this. Uh, we can go have uh, drinks or go have dinner, but that's pretty much it. You're a hard nut to crack here. But the fact that you're attracting this much attention, sweet Jesus, Capricorn. That's the difference between your long-term goals versus other people's sort of short-term goals. You're definitely different. You're definitely more aware. Damn cappies. Let's throw one more of these cards on top. What's the what's the sort of uh, resolution energy for Capricorn here? So I like this. It's long-term planning. Do you have benchmarks? There's things that you're sort of looking at. There's accomplishments that you're going to choose your accomplishments over some of you and in a personal connection. If uh, you want to make partner by the time you're 30 or 35, that's what your focus is going to be. I don't think you're going to be interested in messy connections. Uh, for some of you, that's going to be the first turnoff if someone just tries to turn it into a sexual connection. If it is a sexually based connection, then it pretty much is that. And that's it, right? You're going to finish, zip up, and go home. Uh, that's about it. That's what makes the difference with you. Now is not the time to even think about trying to catch you a Capricorn. Because you're like that butterfly energy. This is also speaks on the metamorphosis you've got going on now too, Capricorn. Those of you that have been going through this for a while. So those of you that's out of those sort of karmic relationships and partnerships. Those of you that understand this, this is street smart and wise. So you're very mindful. Those of you online, you're not posting your whole life. So you're very hard to read. Someone doesn't like the fact that you can't be read. As well, there's no bullshit energy when it comes to this either. You're attracting attention, so your cross watchers are definitely seeing that. But there you are, just kind of going off and doing your own thing with the seven of swords, double seven of or that's a six of swords. So six of swords. Oh, well, it feels like seven of swords because I don't think you're really going to stay stuck or stagnant too long. This speaks to your forward thinking energy. Hmm. Definitely trust your instincts. Stay focused on this because it's good. It's not lack of opportunities. But some of you, you're going to expect more of an accomplished vibe to uh, your next relationship or partnership, work, love, life, than just uh, some sort of emotional uh, attachment or some sort of uh, emotional weighted relationship or partnership. Definitely going to be mindful of your family planning. So if you turn down offers, which you probably have, uh, you understand that whole vibe. I think you've kind of learned all the sort of karmic plays. So that way, any of these energies that come forward or come towards you, you've been there, done that, you've learned the lessons. So now you're choosing uh, better relationships or partnerships. The dynamics of your relationships or partnerships are going to change as well. So some of y'all going to take a little bit of time before you get to know somebody in the biblical sense. There has to be a, a really good connection here in order for you to move forward. You could be on someone's mind right now, Capricorn. But I think they understand you. What is this uh, Queen of Wands with the Two of Cups? Take what's yours and leave what's not, Capricorn. The Moon and the Ace of Swords. No bullshit vibes. A lot of good clarity, a lot of good conversations when it comes to you. If someone tries to sort of play hard to get or kind of play coy or kind of uh, almost comes across rather dismissive or they're not really sort of talking a whole lot, uh, you feel like you have to sort of uh, uh, keep the conversation going because someone thinks it's kind of sexy to be kind of mysterious. Yeah, that that's going to be... Uh, a no for you really fast. Maybe some of you are dealing with the Pisces energy here. The fact it's got the Pisces vibe on it, I feel like you embody that just as much as uh, the sort of Crosswatcher vibes with you. Crosswatcher and everything. So work, love, life, uh, Capricorn. You got a lot of people perplexed. 
because you are hard to read. Those of you that aren't posting every fucking thing you do on your socials. Those of you that's off the dating sites. Those of you that's just sort of doing your own thing. You brought about this change. So you've made decisions with regard to relationships or partnerships. You're already more forward thinking. You are going to choose you that with that nine of cups. I feel like that's more uh, work and life than maybe romance right now. Some of you know there's just way too many sort of options. So if you're very mindful of the sort of karmic connections, it's not lack of opportunities, but just because you get offered doesn't mean you need to partake. Just because uh, uh, the temptation is there doesn't mean that you need to partake. Uh, you're making some really smart choices. Some of you are going to choose to stay single because there's an accomplishment that you want to achieve. If you want to advance, all right? So maybe you're taking some classes. Maybe some of you are wanting to take on more uh, responsibilities at work. Then you're not going to have time for a relationship or partnership. This is just like smart logistical thinking, Capricorn, more so than just uh, uh, following whatever sort of uh, catches your attention. Especially the overly passionate ones. Especially if you're very mindful of your family planning. So, right? Mm. Continue on this metamorphosis because it's really working for you, Capricorn. So, take what's yours, leave what's not. Whatever that Nine of Cups is for you. Some of you could definitely be signing leases. Uh, I feel like you're going to be signing it on your own. Uh, I think the codependency thing with you is definitely a no-no right now. And you're definitely well aware of that. With the Six of Cups and the Six of Wands, you've been there, done that. So you're moving through that energy. But damn, you're like quiet as a church mouse, though. <laughs> Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe. Ring the bell, Capricorn, if you're ever so inspired to. Good luck and God bless.